Dragons line up in reasonably confident mood that they can have a say over the next 80 minutes or so. Proud moment for against Munster in particular when the pack really fronted up at Rodney Parade. Benetton have won their two home games so far. And certainly that was the case last week against the Scarlets for Benetton. They kicked the ball 41 times. So we're underway at the Stadio Monigo. It's been a similar case over the last couple of years for Benetton as well, who really target these home games. I think they've only managed one win outside of Italy in the last almost three years. Now, there is the outstretched arm of Sam Grove White. There is a penalty advantage coming, and perhaps Albornoz and Menoncello were aware of that. Rhino Smith and doing it to really good effect. You've got to be absolutely on the money if you do that, and he kicked five out of five. And he splits the uprights for the opening score of the game. Eight and a half minutes on the watch and... and... So another very promising position and a great opportunity. One way traffic in the opening 12 minutes here and... Thus far, that mall going only one way. They need to put the brakes on the Dragons if they can at all, will they? Wheel it around and spin and crash over. Nico Terro grinds the ball. And the home side, Benetton, find their way to the trial. And off that driving mall, brilliantly orchestrated and simply finished. And it's been a wonderful start by the home team. You know, it was compact. Nacho Berex joins it at the end, but in complete control there. And Nico Terro goes over. Coming into the side this afternoon for Gianmarco Lucchese, who's been impressive this season. And speaking of impressive, and that sums that up entirely. Beautiful strike. Looking for those soft shoulders. Dragons urge to stay on side. Batting to stay in it here. Oh, there's space out this way now, surely. So they go from east to west, all the way through the hands. And it's Lorenzo Canone. His left hand, watch this. I mean, there's no easy, not an easy pass. I mean, that is a, a good 20 meter pass. Oh, he makes it look so easy. Lewis Jones made to wait an age, but that's good hands from Dixon. Opportunity for Clark now up to four meters. Numbers out to the left hand side. They should get in here. Surely the Dragons, you feel, stop marginally short. Dyer was very close. No. They did manage to get it down. Let's see exactly how. Referee's in a good position, you can see. Not abundantly clear on the evidence of the replay that we saw that Dyer did manage to place it, but the referee didn't have any doubts, and that's a really, really good conversion from JJ Hanran. And they've gone to the bench to rectify one things here. Now there's a one never back, not one mate. He's, he's an offside against Dragons. Duvanaka. Let's see, a fairly straightforward opportunity to just take three straight back. Oh, and it needed the faintest of glances off that upright. And there it is, eventually for Duvanaka. And now at the back, lovely disguise and delay. Brilliant play. Padovani in for the try. Still complaining with the referee or whether this pass from Albanoz was actually forward to Padovani. It's tough to see from that angle. My initial thought it actually was forward. Not this time. Inside the final 15 minutes. Every point precious for the Dragons, who remember started the day in 13th in the table with five points from their opening three matches is there space there's lots of space and there had to be a try well they've taken full advantage off that scrummage from the knock on and they've cruised in for a try dragons here and maybe just maybe they're not quite ready to give up this argument just yet and so confirmation Mattia Bellini is in for Watson and on we go Duvanaga to 
Albornoz. First involvement for Halafihi. Short little disguise pass and Benetton have their hands on it. Approaching the 10 meter line with 10 minutes to go. Oh, it's nice footwork, lovely hands. Absolutely beautiful from Federica Ruzza. And look at this from Mattia Bellini. First touch, having come in off the bench, is to dot the ball down and secure victory. If it was ever in any doubt, well, surely it's not now from a Benetton point of view. It's amazing what one pass can do. Federico Ruzza, he's known for his offloads. I suppose what's really impressive about that score from a Benetton point of view are numbers to the ball. You know, Toa Halafi in support. Mati Nacho Brex, Mattia Bellini, you know, they're all there following. You know, and that's a, that's a second row, you know, Federico Ruzzo is cutting a line like that. He's, you know. Time off, war break. Bines. Pump up their tires again for that really important game against Cardiff, as I said. Job done. In to touch it goes over on that far side. Well, they were in cruise control in the opening 40 minutes with those couple of tries from Giacomo Nicotero and Lorenzo Canoni leading 17 points to nil at halftime. Rio Dyer managed to bundle the ball down and get Dragons going in the second half, but Padovani and Bellini added tries. Bonus point win for Benetton in Treviso, and they've beaten the Dragons by 34 points to 14.